Our first session features our keynote speaker, is Grace Vaisheshek Prabhu. He'll be sharing with us this morning some valuable insights from the Bhakti Community Initiative. Vaisheshek Prabhu is a disciple of His Divine Grace, Lady Sri Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada. And he has been engaged in this service of book distribution since he joined in 1973. He is the Global Duty Officer, the GDO, of book distribution. He's also the Temple President of ISKCON Silicon Valley. And he travels globally with his wife, Nirakula Devidasi. He's also an initiating spiritual master in ISKCON. He's a veteran monk, author, and spiritual guide who traveled throughout the world, sharing knowledge gained from four decades of bhakti yoga practice and dedication to spiritual entrepreneurism. Vaisheshik Prabhu is a regular guest speaker at Stanford University and large corporations like Intel, Google, Salesforce. So please join me in welcoming Vaisheshik Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Welcome, Prabhu. Thank you. I offer my respectful obeisances to all the esteemed leaders who, who have joined the Zoom call today and to everyone who's present here in the live studio audience at ISKCON of Silicon Valley. I offer my respectful obeisances to His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who very deliberately came to the West, Paschatya Desha Dharane, to give an opportunity to those who are estranged from any idea of sanity or connection to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We thank him millions of times and millions of times more. Today, we've been asked to give a brief introduction to our so-called bhakti community based on the idea that our outreach has to also have continuance. That is, when we meet people who are interested in Krishna consciousness, they should be given full facility, as all of us were, by Srila Prabhupada, to take a step-by-step -step approach to cultivating Krishna consciousness. Near my home in Burlingame, California, there's a place along the coast called Mori Point, where I sometimes walk, and I noticed that the government had a project there to save the red leg frog apparently one of the links in the ecological chain that makes a difference, and it almost had gone extinct. And they spent tens of millions of dollars to recreate the habitat for that frog, little ponds and all kinds of flora and fauna. And lo and behold, it came back. It gave me the idea that... And it's not a new idea, but it's, it's an idea that those who are good at cultivating new people have, and that is there has to be a special environment in order for people to be able to get the idea of Krishna consciousness, be introduced in a welcoming environment, and be able to take a step-by-step -step approach. So that's the bhakti community. Years ago, we began working on paper to design a so-called user's journey. I worked with His Grace Jai Madhava Prabhu, who is uh, very enthusiastic, along with his wife, Pavani Bhakti, to cultivate new people, and who's also, both of them, expert at providing such an environment. So... For the cause of brevity, we'll move along now, and I'll pass on the spotlight to Jai Madhava Prabhu, who will talk about the user's journey, and then introduce you to a little bit to some of the members of the bhakti community who have come here today. Hare Krishna. Thank you, uh, Maharaj, for this opportunity, and thank you uh, to the North American GBC team for giving us this opportunity. I am very excited uh, to share uh, the progress we have made 
in sharing Krishna consciousness uh, with newcomers, uh, f again focused on, as Maharaj said, uh, creating a habitat for the uh, Western newcomers. And uh, I uh, pray and uh, hope that uh, this will inspire you to bring it uh, closer to your temple as well. So with that, we'll get started with the presentation. So Bhakti community uh, is dedicated to His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, because of whom we all are here as a family today, uh, sharing Krishna consciousness with others. Next slide. Yeah, and uh, the principle with which Bhakti community operates is the same principle which uh, Prabhupada uh, had. In Bhagavad Gita, he writes, if you were, even one man becomes a pure devotee of the Lord, we, will, we shall consider our attempt a success. So we have the same principles uh, that we follow. And uh, what is the purpose of Bhakti community? The purpose of Bhakti community, our priority, is not to give books or to ask newcomers to chant mantras or ask them to join a class or ask them to give donations or ask them to come and do any service or even ask them to come to temple. None of them is a priority. The only priority we have is to give newcomers association of Vaishnavas and shower care and affection on them. Once we do that, the Chetu Darpana Marjanam process starts and gradually newcomers do what Vaishnavas do. Vaishnavas read books, newcomers also start reading books, Vaishnavas chant, newcomers also chant. They also start attending classes, they also start donating, they also start participate in services and they also come to temple. So that is a natural process of association. So the mood with which Bhakti community operates is take care of the heart, mind and services will follow. So we just focus on sh sharing uh, the uh, care and affection with newcomers in association of Vaishnavas. So that's the key purpose. Yeah, so what we do here is we tag team. Uh, we, when, whenever we work very closely with our uh, book distribution team, so when our book distribution team goes out and give out books, they also share Bhakti community, a community so that the newcomer can actually read books, ask questions, get encouraged and make progress. And how do we do that? Along with books, we also give them bookmarks or other cards. For example, you can see the Bhakti Community bookmarks, which we have, which lists all the programs we have, weekly program on Bhakti Community, as well as it has a brief uh, description of Maha Mantra in case the book distributor would like to explain it to the newcomer. So we have uh, several programs throughout the week, uh, both online as well as in person. Uh, on Monday, we have Bhakti On, where various senior uh, leaders, uh, dev devotees lead the program and explain Krishna consciousness in a very simplified way, which can be absorbed by the newcomer. Then on Thursdays, we have Bhakti Circle, which is a systematic 32-week program, where we grow gradually uh, help them progress and understand Krishna consciousness. On Fridays, we have Success Sadhana, which is focused on sharing Krishna consciousness with the corporate world. And on Sundays, we have Women's Circle, where women get together and learn about Krishna Consciousness. In addition, we also have Mantra Zone, which is all the other programs are online, but Mantra Zone is an in-person program, where in addition to Mantra Music and Meditation, we also share short wisdom in a personal setting so that we can form some bonds. And once the newcomers have gone through the process, when the time is right, we bring them to temple so that they are culturally uh, accustomed and when they come to temple we provide them personal guidance as they make uh, so to explain them everything which happens in temple so that we have seen this user's journey has uh, been very helpful and successful in addition we all we also have women's retreat as well so when week one we conducted last weekend where we ta talk about different uh, we allow the newcomers an immersive experience in bhakti yoga for example panchanga bhakti or other aspects where every aspects of bhakti is uh, introduced to them and they have uh, we have received very positive feedback uh, through this retreat once this is explained by the newcomers uh, ex telling them in case they would like they can join a free online community or in person uh, experience they would if they would like and if they agree then they sign up right then and there or they come back and then the sign up either going through website, bhaktikani.com, which can be accessed both through web as well as mobile application. So what I want to sh share is now after having 
given the books and given the bookmarks and having the newcomer signed up for Bhakti community, when they come to Bhakti community, what the experience is like. So we have a very short clip of video which uh, shows uh, what a newcomer, when they come to Bhakti community, experiences. So please, uh, if you could play the video. Uh, view that you have behind, where are you? Montana. 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 Yeah, we are at uh, Montana State University. Hello, everyone. Nice to see everyone. I would like to introduce Rosa. She is joining for the first time. Uh, Rosa, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, Kamalakshi. I would. Uh, my name is uh, Rosalba Estrada Mendoza and I saw um, Kamalachi just sitting there and when I saw the sign free book the meditation it was crazy but I felt like the spirit of the energy of how I felt like the guidance of like me learning like how do I take things slow how do I take a moment to breathe because I, um, I felt like the universe is telling me like this is your time like just check it out and I didn't know that Kamalachi openly welcome me and just showing me and explain to me the books and so i'm so excited to hear from everyone and just willing to welcome learn. rosalva great to have you here and i also invite uh, i would like to invite uh, Emmett and uh, welcome Emmett. would you like to introduce yourself yeah hi um i'm Emmett. um i go to the university of uh, eastern washington and um i don't know i i've sort of uh, i can agree with uh i i, I can i can agree with the the, the spiritual journey um I've I've been trying to you know find myself uh, really look individually inside myself in a sort of a spiritual sense, and um, I, I saw your guys' booth outside of uh, one of our main buildings, and I was a little bit reluctant. I walked inside and I got some lunch. And I was like, you know what? I think I think this is what I need. You know, this is something that will you know benefit myself in my journey, and um, yeah, no, I'm I'm very very grateful. And I'm I'm very excited to uh, hear everybody's experiences and make this an experience for myself and really learn and expand my mind. So thank you. Um, welcome, Hobin, brother. Thank you so much. We continuously are uh, you know in touch and we on calls. We read sometimes. He's a he's become very dear friend and uh, brother to me. Um, welcome, Hobin, and please, brother, if you like, feel free to introduce yourself. I'd love for you. I'd love to. Hear. Um. Hi. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Kamala. So good to see you guys. Um, uh, yeah, I'm Hoban. My name is Hoban Chargala. And um, I was brought, I believe, um, to, to Krishna and Kamala. Um, it, it was almost like they called me. Um, I saw a sign that said free yoga. Well, what I thought said free yoga, but it actually said free yoga and meditation books. And so I said, oh, that's even better than free yoga. <laughs> so um, I kindly asked them how many I could take. And it was they were <laughs> super generous. So I asked if I could take them all just so that I could understand all the Vedic knowledge. And from here, I was introduced to the Gita. Um, and as Krishna says, we are, um, you know, reading together and, and attempting to understand it um, from the lens of our own lives in in reflection so again i'm very grateful for the both of you guys and, and thank you for bringing me um into this space i mean those introductions were so fantastic i don't know what else to say <laughs> i'm speechless wherever we come together to elevate the conversation and make a higher vibration it does water the root of the tree everywhere um if you can go to the next slide, please. Uh, view that you have behind. Where are you, darling? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So that so uh, that's how uh, newcomers are welcomed, and they uh, uh, join the online community. And after that, they go through various classes, both online as well as in person. Uh, they have buddies assigned to them uh, who help them answer questions, encourage them to join, etc. And uh, we do have a few uh, few of them who have gone through that uh, journey. And they are here today, so we'd like uh, to them to share their reflections, what the journey has been like, what the experience is like, and how they reflect on uh, being in Krishna consciousness. So I will, uh, if you can stop the sharing, and I, I will let Shirley uh, please uh, go ahead and, uh, yeah, please come here. Hi. 
Hi, my name is Shirley, and I was born and raised in the Bay Area. I um, joined Bhakti in 2019. I'm a caregiver, and I have to say Bhakti has saved my life. I was at the point where I was going to stop looking for God because God has been something I've been looking for my whole life. And Bhakti has, I found God with Bhakti. I know he has personality. I know he loves me. I know he is um, wonderful, <laughs> okay. And um, he changed my life. I learned so much from Bhakti um, every step of the way in regards to caring for people, watching people die, having compassion. Um, there's just so much that you can take from Bhakti and apply it in your own home, in your, your own life, in your home too also. Um, yeah, I, I can't say enough. You know, I've been here since 2019. I'm not leaving. I love Bhakti. I love Krishna. It's not now we have uh, Vicky who would share her experience uh, in this journey. Hare Krishna, please accept my respectful obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to North America RGB. My name is Vicky. I was born in China and grew up in the Bay Area, uh, and I'm very blessed to call Iskand Silicon Valley home. I was introduced to Bhakti community by Kautik Karnavadas. During the quarantine of the pandemic, he left a Bhagavad Gita at our door, and after we read it, he invited us to Bhakti community. Um, I joined for about seven months and then had to leave for a work trip for about half a year, and still I was able to join from abroad. Um, every time that I dial in, I see people from all over the world, uh, in Silicon Valley, Australia, London, India. Um, it's a very vibrant online home for so many around the world. As for my future in Krishna consciousness, due to the mercy of Guru Dev and Guru Ma, I believe it is limitless. And due to the mercy and shelter of the devotees, I can grow more and more into myself and find my awaken to my true purpose in service. Um, but most importantly, I'm beyond simply joyful to just be here now and grateful that Krishna, by his mercy, constantly pulls me into remembrance through association of devotees, and um, I have an attempt to know and love him. Hare Krishna. Now we have Lijay who will share her experience. Hare Krishna. Uh, my name is Li Jie, and uh, I was born in China and uh, spent most of my life, 20 years in there until I moved to the United States. So I came to know the Bhakti community from the Stanford Conscious Living Society. And I started from the guidance of a few devotees there. And then it's around 2019. And I remember um, my Shishika Prabhu went to Stanford and gave, gave a very um, great lecture. And I was immediately drawn to his teaching. And then the pandemic happens and everything moved online. And then because of the Bhakti community and all the work that J.M. Prabhu and Pavani Mataji did, I was able to um, be given an environment with a lot of help. And there are classes and associations every day from Monday, Wednesday, and I think I also joined on um, Friday. Uh, and then the weekend, I am able to come to the temple um, both Saturday and Sunday. And I think uh, my spiritual journey won't be uh, the same without all the helps of the devotees. And I will feel intimidated to see people who do not look like me, but I don't feel any in this family. So I really appreciate all the loving that all the devotees and Vashishika Prabhu and Guru Ma give to me. Hare Krishna. Now we will have Chuck who will share his experience. 
Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, my name is Chuck Easley. I uh, live with uh, Lee Jay on the Stanford campus where I work as a professor. Um, I came across the Bhakti community initially because of um, one of my PhD students who gave me a copy of the Bhagavad Gita and we started attending the Stanford Conscious Living programs on campus and, and then from there we got connected to the Bhakti community and the online sessions on Mondays and Thursdays where we had a chance to go deeper uh, into the teachings and, and discuss and we were just really struck by the pure kind-heartedness uh, of the community. So in the future my, my prayer, my hope is um, just that we continue to uh, be lucky enough to be in the association of devotees. Uh, thank you all. Hare Krishna. So thank you, Shirley, Vicky, Lijay, and Chuck for sharing experience. And there are uh, many more uh, who have made progress, and we are really thankful uh, to all the devotees, Vaishnavas, buddies, who encouraged them uh, to make this progress. So we can bring back the slides, please. Slides back. I know we are, I think, uh, I do want to leave me five minutes for Q&A, so I'll quickly skim through the remaining slides. I'm just waiting for the slides to come up, and I'll walk through as soon as they are up. What is that? Tim just walked in. Oh, Tim. Uh, Tim, is it okay if you can just give a minute reflection? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come up. Yeah, come, 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 come. On Bhakti community? Oh, thank you. Oh, I, I, uh, I'll share really briefly about my experience in Bhakti community. Um, I received a Bhagavad Gita on my door uh, a couple of years back, and fortunately, uh, Kautuk was my neighbor, so he took me under his wing, read with me every day, chanted, taught me how to chant. Uh, brought me prasadam. Uh, still to this day, he looks after me very nicely and has become a really good friend of mine. Um, and then, yeah, future uh, for Krishna consciousness, uh, hopefully initiation someday, uh, and also to develop a, a sincere attitude for service, uh, a connection with Krishna, and then also a uh, uh, better relationship with all of the devotees. But I still have a long way to go, and that's, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Tim, uh, for uh, the impromptu experience <laughs> sharing our Bhakti community. Uh, so I'm just waiting for the slides to come. I'll give another second or two. I know, yeah. So uh, as we make progress, uh, as Maharaj always says, uh, what we measure, we can make progress. Uh, towards that end, every MSF, we have eight MSF every year where we offer the book. You say with seven, MSF. Sorry? Don't use jargon. MSF. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there is a monthly Sankirtan festival. There are eight festivals we celebrate throughout the year where all the books we have distributed uh, during that festival, for example, Ram Navami or Gaur Purnima, what they would do is go out and they book, distribute books. So we collect them and uh, we uh, share the, uh, we uh, offer the book points to Prabhupada, uh, in, uh, at the altar of Prabhupada, along with offering the book points of uh, book distribution. We also offer the progress we have made in Bhakti community and which we measure using some, what we call as VSL, which is Vaishnava Sangalava, which measures how many times a newcomer has come in association with a Vaishnava through a devotional service class. So we do have technical difficulties, yeah. <laughs> so we do have uh, goals for the year for different teams. So we have a Silicon Valley team, Kaminidad Bhakti team, which is a Bhakti community for Spanish speaking people, uh, Seattle uh, team. So each for each of them, there are goals and we measure the goals and we actually track how much we have progressed, how many VSLs or professional Sangha lovers we, lovers we have collected and we offer it at the altar of Prabhupada uh, at uh, every monthly Sankirtan festival, along with how many newcomers were able to get benefit from it. And uh, as I mentioned, we do have Bhakti community for Spanish speaking people as well, which is led by His Grace Prema Rupa Madhav Prabhu and Prema Rupini Madhav Mataji. And uh, they have been making excellent progress. Uh, so we are really thankful to them. 
So the attempt of this program was just to give a teaser to you, so we have an overview of uh, what the Bhakti community uh, has done and how it has uh, inspired newcomers. And if you would like to learn more, please shoot a note to hi at bhaktikommunity.com or send a text or WhatsApp message uh, to, uh, to there and would love to get in a uh, call with you and explain how we can bring Bhakti community uh, to your temple or, 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 or your community uh, closer to your home. So if you'd like, we can take a Q&A, Maharaj. Yeah. yeah or, Kennedy, or can come up really quick. You got 30 seconds. So yeah, these are all impromptu people who are coming, so we're just giving them. Hare Krishna, welcome. Put the Zoom back on. Ramananda, put the Zoom back on, please. This is Bhakti Kennedy. Go ahead, please. Hare Krishna. I joined Bhakti community at the very beginning of my journey back in November of 2022, so about 15 months ago, though, check my math. Um, it has been an absolute whirlwind and an incredible experience of coming into myself, my authentic self, with a community. The spiritual journey is something that is tumultuous and human and absolutely wonderful, but it can be frightening to do on your own. And Bhakti community has offered the space to go through this philosophy of love and devotion and gratitude and compassion with a group of like-minded individuals. The range of speakers, the range of topics, everything is practical, applicable, and out of this world. It's amazing that you can step into this once and then suddenly for me, I realize I've gone over a hundred times now. It, you, you turn a corner and you have no idea what life's going to bring you and I turned a corner and I found this. And my life is forever changed. Um, I'm not saying that these are the results you will see necessarily, but suddenly I have less anxiety. I have a tool that actually helps me work through major mental health issues. I have a tool that when life gets difficult, I'm still smiling. You know, there's things that you can't buy in life. And a community like this gives them to you on a silver platter with, and asks nothing in return. Showing up for yourself means showing up with people like this. You know, we're not meant to go through this life alone. And Bhakti community has taught me that I not only don't have to go through it alone, but I can be my own champion in it. And I can do things that not only benefit myself, but benefit the people in my own life. I've even seen wonderful results in happiness and joy and lessing, less stress in my own family members who don't attend. So when you show up for yourself, you show up for everybody. <laughs> Now we have about five minutes for some questions, comments. We need a little human inter interaction from the Zoom room. Yeah, we open that up for the Zoom room as well if there's some questions. Madame Gopal, you, wanna, you can lead. I just mentioned that uh, our philosophy of book distribution and the cultivation of new devotees are the same thing. They're not two things, they're one thing. Therefore, when we offer a reiteration, when we offer the results of our book distribution, we simultaneously or contiguously offer the results of the bhakti community activities. And we see this as being vital because it's a first touch and we're meeting some of the most sincere people we've ever met in the world being out on book distribution and then when there's a place for them to come immediately and have association, then it makes it a, a holistic approach to the outreach. Please go ahead with questions. We just have a few minutes left. There's um, wonderful comments as well. Kusha Devi from ISKCON Hawaii says the, the newcomers are very inspiring and enlightening to hear. Also inspiring, a number of devotees have mentioned that the measuring part and the tracking part that's how you can track your progress is measuring. It seems like an obvious thing, but it's not obviously done. And the fact that you're doing it so wonderfully is extremely enlivening, inspiring, and something the devotees can take home today for sure. There's a question here from C.K. Mahiti. Is it possible for those of us who don't live in your community to send new people to join your online Sangha? That's a great question. And thank you for asking that question. Bhakti community definitely... Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, Bhakti community uh, is given its online platform. 
everyone dials in. So we have several people dialing in from East Coast. We have people dialing from Canada, London, even Australia. So yes, uh, if you don't have temple, please, uh, you can introduce Bhakti community. I do have bookmarks, so if you're interested in, like along with books, if you want to give these bookmarks uh, to them so that they can keep track, it's a very nice short bookmark, which uh, has an all the program overview, and they can use it to track when they are reading books. And this also has sign up link to Bhakti community, so I can ship it to your community or your temple. Uh, please let us know, and you can hand it over, and they can join online. Programs. I'd just like to add also that it, it's, it's, a, it's franchisable. That means that if you want to take the infrastructure that we have, the digital infrastructure, the intellectual property that we've developed, which isn't ours, it's parampara, I hope, uh, <laughs> and, and utilize it, then uh, that's also available too. There's just a tiny little bit of profit sharing because if there is any profit. Uh, but we've done that over... Uh, various geographical locations people are taking up bhakti community and they they use the infrastructure and they use the process but they have their separate customized program because they already have a cultivation program but they just want a little more uh, support and an infrastructure yeah so we do have bhakti community partner coordinator uh, coordinator as well who helps partner on board and we, we are happy to jump on a call and explain or work with the partner to bring you on board. That was a Thank great question. Thank you very question. much. Yeah. The wonderful question and, and please make a note on the chat as well. If you have a hard time remembering about Bhakti Community, where you'll find it, just go to bhakticommunity.com. One word, very easy to remember, bhakticommunity.com. You'll get all the information there uh, and, and you can order your bookmarks as well. Uh, thank you very much. Now let's see. Uh, there's some more questions over here. There's some comments. Uh, one comments, uh, Lila Shakti says, yes, 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 hearts. Very good. Nice comment. Uh, Tom Taipal said, every book is a seed, and you have created an expert model for cultivating, watering, and protecting that seed within a community of support and spiritual formation. Very inspiring. Um, okay, and Gopi Gita says, so incredible, perfect start to these meetings. And so grateful that the focus is on developing relationships first. That was very inspiring to see that focus on relationship first before everything else, and then everything else comes in naturally. Uh, Same Heshwar Prabhu says, very inspiring, amazing initiative. So our obeisances on behalf of all the attendees to you, uh, Vaisheshika Prabhu, and your team. And, and everybody's very proud of the ISV team. This is a tip of the spear. In, in creating amazing communities and, and you know, pushing the envelope in how we can go and touching hearts, uh, friends raising and so on. Thank you very much. And just as a disclaimer, none of the speakers today were paid. <laughs> <laughs> they came here on their own volition. <laughs> Thank you very much. All glories to the leaders of North America and Sankirtan. Let's please, uh, Please give us your association more and more. We are your humble servants. Vancha Kalpta Rishja Kripa Sanabe Vishapatitanam Bhavani Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai.